video. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Um, I don't even know where to start on this video. So I know loads of people on Instagram have messaged me saying, how have you changed your lifestyle around? How have you lost weight? And I thought, you can't write it into words. So I thought I'd do a massive video um, on my fitness journey and just tell you from where I started to how I gained confidence, how I educated myself on nutrition and to where I am now. This is going to be a long video so go and get your cup of tea, sit down and listen because you'll probably learn a lot from this video. It just shows that a lot of people are unconfident in the gym and if I can do it, you can do it. So let's start. I've wrote loads and loads of pages because I wanted to make sure I was trying to get everything out there of what I went through and things like that so I wrote everything down. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Um, I'm going to start from when I was in school. I'm now 24, so that was way many years ago. But anyway, when I was in school, I was a size 6. I'm not now, but yeah. Um, when I was in school, I was a size 6. Um, I was very sporty. I loved PE. I was one of the top girls in PE. I got a really good grade in PE. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't really like good with nutrition, but back in that day, I could eat what I want and I never put the weight on because I was so athletic so yeah that was at school all the way through school i was thin i was sporty and um, never put any weight on never cared about my weight it's never it never crossed my mind that people actually put on weight because it never actually happened to me um so from high school i went straight to college and then in college was a little bit of a turning point um I started eating more unhealthy foods and for breakfast I'd have a cheese panini like and it was like this big with like loads of barbecue sauce I like I can still taste the paninis in my mouth because I loved them that much I would have one for my breakfast and I'd have the same one for my lunch and then I'd go home and have like three other meals so because I was thin I just thought oh I can eat what I want but the weight started slowly creeping up so I wasn't big but I was slowly getting out of shape you could see anyway so I went through college just eating what i wanted you know being a typical teenager just eating loads of unhealthy foods then i got into uni and it got worse so um i start obviously when you're in uni you drink i was a social drinker i used to love going out on the weekends with my friends and because i was hungover <laughs> this is no joke i would literally get up at 11 a.m on the dot, wait for Domino's to open at 11. Then I'd order Domino's for my breakfast, eat that. <laughs> then at um, lunchtime, I'd have a KFC. And then, then on the night, I would have a Chinese takeaway. And that was my life probably every Sunday, I would do that. And then other days when I was drinking, after I'd be drinking, I'd go to a takeaway on the way home, get like chips, kebab. I used to do that all the time. At that point in my life, I knew, I knew myself that I'd put weight on. I was up four dress sizes. And at this point in uni, I hated myself. I hated my body. I was insecure. I was very un unconfident. I just, I knew I was, I was bigger than what I was in high school. But I didn't do anything about it. I probably just ate more. I used to go out with my friends, just drink more. And I just pushed it to the back of my brain. And as that happened, I was just gaining more and more weight. So I was at like the peak of how big I was. Um, I think probably like first or second year of uni. Bearing in mind, this is my first degree. I have done two degrees. So I'm now doing nursing, but I've done a health and wellbeing degree. I knew I was the biggest I've ever been. And one night I hadn't been out around my town for a while and I went out and I bumped into a boy. Last time he seen me, I would have been thin. And this boy was outside with, and we was with loads of people. And he turned around to me in front of everybody, looked at me and said, Katie, you've gone fat. And I, I died. I literally died inside. I was like, I went bright red and I thought, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. But um, yeah, I just thought, what, what a comment. Like, thanks, mate. Yeah, and then after that, I thought, nah, that's, that's, that's it. I'm turning my life around. Like, that's a nasty comment. But when somebody states it, when you... When it's yourself, you just ignore it. But when somebody actually states it in front of loads of people and you're getting embarrassed, oh my God, I just died. And then I thought, that's it, enough is enough. So that was my turning point. Him saying that to me was my turning point. And in, in all fairness now, I could be like, hi hon, thanks for saying that to me because look where I am now. Like, 
probably wouldn't have been here because I needed someone to give me a slap in the face like that to say, Katie, you're like, come on, you're putting on weight now. Come on, you're like, if I probably didn't turn my life around, God knows what size I would have been. So yeah, that was my turning point and I thought enough's enough, I need to do something, but I didn't know where to start. I had no um, knowledge of exercise. I didn't know any of the equipment in the gym. So because I didn't know anything, there was no way that I was stepping into a gym. The, like, there was no way. I was so low in confidence at that point in my life and the, there was just no way that I would step into a gym. So I thought, if I won't step into a gym, I'll start at home. So what I did is I went on YouTube. I did ab workouts um, at home. I did them probably about four times a week. And then on a night time when nobody was around the town, I would go running and I'd do that four to five times a week. So along with running four or five times a week and doing an ab workout, I started dieting. But because my knowledge on nutrition was so poor at that time, I probably dieted in a really wrong way. Like I would have three meals a day, but then meals would be like chicken peas and mash, but with no gravy, no salt, no extras, and then no snacks in between. And then I would have water and I would have nothing else. Like I couldn't have juice, couldn't have fizzy drinks. I would just stick to water. So I was having three very small plain meals a day with no bread. I wasn't allowed bread or anything like that um, with just water. So at that time, I was probably doing my body more harm than what I thought, but I was so underknowledged. I didn't know. At that time in my life, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about weights. Um, so I just thought, oh, I'll just stick to cardio and lose loads of weight. But because I was probably doing it in the wrong way, I was on an extreme calorie deficit. I was probably having about a thousand calories a day and I was working out a lot. Like I was proper pushing myself I used to be ripped like sometimes I'd come back from running and I'd have to be like mom I'm going dizzy I'm going dizzy and she'd be like Katie you need to calm down but I was just so addicted like that like thing in my head to say like come on you can't you need to get this weight off you but yeah it just come in an addiction so yeah I got really addicted to it and then at that point that was like the skinniest I've ever been I was more skinnier when I was in my 20s than I was when I was 14 so yeah I was really really thin like I had no shape to me but I was so addicted to like cardio and losing weight because I was I went from being big and now I was small I couldn't get that out of me I had to say Katie you're big you need to lose weight you need to lose weight like that was drilled into my head so much that I was still training like I was bigger and I wasn't I, I needed to change my training up but I didn't know about that so people were commenting on my weight loss saying oh my god Katie you look so thin and that was like a rush and I was getting addicted to it even more and I was like gotta work out gotta work out need to like lose more weight but at that point I was too thin so because I was so addicted to it, I started to buy more equipment like a kettlebell for home. I, I used to have little 1K weights um, and I used to watch people on YouTube, watch them do the routine and then I would do it at home in my dining room, um, just like ab workout. And then after a year of working out at home, I was like, okay, I think you could brave the gym now. Like, I'm going to give it a go. So I did exactly that. I signed up to a gym. Um, which was really brave of me because even though I'd lost all this weight I was still insecure at the gym and then one morning I got up really early just before it opened um, drove myself to the car park sat in the car for like 30 minutes before I went in um, psyching myself up saying come on you can do this you'll be fine just go in just do a bit of cardio and leave so I finally psyched myself up I thought oh go on I'll go in went in after like flapping it for 30 minutes saying oh I'm gonna drive home I actually didn't drive home I actually got to the reception and from where the reception was at the gym say that's the reception I was stood here and the gym was behind so you could from the reception you could see the gym and you could see everyone working out and it just took I was stood at the reception just ready to swipe myself in and this one boy just turned around and looked at me. And then a few other people looked around because obviously when somebody walks in the gym, you look, don't you? But anyway, this one boy looked at me and that was it. I was gone. 
out the door, straight in my car and drove all the way home. So I literally got there, got to reception, looked and then went back home and I just thought I couldn't do it and I was dead disappointed in myself and it disheartened me like for weeks because I was like, I can't do it, I can't go to the gym. When I walked to reception and that one person looked at me, I had a massive panic attack and I was like, oh, everyone's looking at me, everyone thinks what's she doing in here and then I just absolutely panicked and walked straight out. I didn't even, the receptionist was like, are you going to give me the card or you not? And I was like, bye. So I walked straight back out, drove all the way home and I was proper disheartened for like weeks. So yeah, that disheartened me and then I did stop training for a couple of weeks. But I don't know why because at the time now, thinking back, I just think they were just looking at you because you was just walking in the gym. Like you would have opened the door, which would have made a noise and they've just turned and thought, oh, who's coming in the gym? But I would have thought, oh, they're looking at me, laughing at me and they wasn't. So anyway after a couple of weeks i thought okay you can't go on like this like you want to go to the gym you really enjoy working out i thought you're just gonna have to like bite the bullet and try again so that's what i did i bit the bullet went again but this time i looked on google before i went and went on the website to make sure that it wasn't busy. So, so I picked a time to go when it wasn't busy and I did get there and there wasn't that many people in. I swiped myself in and I went straight over to the cross trainer because at the time that was the only piece of equipment I knew how to use. So I did the cross trainer for like 30 minutes and then I went on the rowing because I can remember it clear as day because it was the most traumatic day for me ever. So I went on the cross trainer and then I went on the rower machine for like 15 minutes and then I left and walked out and now looking at me now I would think okay that's a crap workout like what is that but at the time that was a mass absolutely massive massive stepping stone for me even though I only did half an hour like actually getting myself in the gym and on a piece of equipment was absolutely massive I, I thought I would never do it but I did yeah so I drove home with an absolute massive grin on my face I thought just been the gym me love what about you after I'd been in the gym once, I was still doing abs at home like four or five times a week and I was still running on a night time five, six times a week. But I promised myself that I would at least once a week get myself in the gym, even if I did five, 10, 15 minutes getting myself there and familiarizing myself with the gym environment hopefully would build my confidence. So after a few weeks of going on the cross trainer, um, the cross trainer was like facing the weights area and I'd be on the cross trainer and I just thought that the weights was for like the men. I've seen a few girls doing weights. At that time in my life I thought like girls who lifted weights were like men and butchy um, but these girls wasn't. They had like lovely bums and lovely legs and they were lifting weights and I, you just couldn't help but look at them. Yeah so from that moment I, I remember thinking I want to do that like I'm all for cardio but I want, to, I want to do that what they're doing the bodies were amazing at that time on that cross trainer looking at them girls i realized that my goal on what i thought beautiful was had changed i didn't want to be this thin victoria's secret model anymore with like no bum and like really defined abs i wanted to have muscle growth and a really nice physique yeah i wanted like I wanted like defined muscles, defined shoulders, like I wanted to look like them girls that I seen in that gym. But I knew this goal was like so out of reach from where I was. But I wanted it and when I want something like I will achieve it because I put my mind to it that much. I knew like it's going to be like a far cry Katie, it's going to like take you so long. But if you want to do it, do it. I didn't have the foggiest idea about weights. I like I literally didn't know anything about form about technique I didn't know anything yeah so I thought I'm not gonna just rock into the gym and start like barbelling weights and squatting weights so I thought I need to educate myself on it so I got home from that gym from the gym that day went on Amazon and bought the cheapest barbell I could find um didn't even know it was a barbell I thought it was like an Olympic bar that you could squat with but it was this tiny barbell so yeah I ordered that then when it came I, I went straight back on YouTube um looked at looked up squatting um and weight workouts and from then i started doing workouts with the barbell um and getting myself better with knowledge about weights so after learning like my i didn't i still didn't know anything about form or technique but i, I knew like the basics of how to squat on a very light like 10k bar but um yeah after that i went to the gym and i went straight on my cross trainer until um 
until like the barbell area was clear like i wouldn't do it if somebody was there but yeah when that barbell area was clear i'd run straight over get a barbell didn't know anything about sets anything about reps nothing like that i just literally did 10 um 10 reps of squatting and went all the way home again but it's it, it wasn't like the aspect of like well you've only done 10 reps it was because i actually done it i got there and i squatted on a barbell on my own after the cross trainer and i think like each each day i was doing a little bit more and i was dead proud of myself so after that i would literally go home look on youtube i'd i'd remember a piece of machine or equipment in the gym that i thought oh i'd like to learn that i'd go home look on youtube familiarize myself with it and um, learn how people use it then the next day i'd take my phone to the gym watch the youtube video on my phone and then i'd do the exercise on the machine while the video was like stuck up so i could see what i was doing and then that's how that's how i got better um i just kept watching youtube videos and then each day i would go back and use a new machine or use like the smith machine the first time i used the smith machine um god i look back now i'm so embarrassed but um i couldn't even get it off the frame like because you have to do that with the smith machine didn't have a clue i was like that and it was locking and i thought it was just making like a big noise and i was like why is it not coming off that weren't happening never got the smith machine on never went on it again until like i actually knew what i was doing so after like i familiarized myself with gym equipment not like i wasn't as knowledge as i am now but i had like the basics like i knew how to use it from youtube but at that time i seen that i wasn't gaining any muscle and i was still like this thin like no bum so i went back home and i started studying nutrition and i learned that you can't be on a calorie deficit you need to fuel your body to grow your muscle so where i was like starving my body from nutrition i needed to feed it with nutrition to build muscle and that's what i didn't know at the time i was just on a currently deficit and probably making things worse that's why i had no energy i wasn't strong my best squat was 10 kilogram at the time because i was on such a calorie deficit i was so thin i was so underweight um yeah but I, I learned from that because I want I didn't want to be a thin person anymore I wanted like a, an amazing muscly physique that I learned myself on fueling the body and giving your body the right foods so I educated myself on YouTube again on Google I got a few nutritional books and I educated myself and then my diet was a lot better I started eating roughly like 2,000 calories a day, I up my calories, 1,000 calories, and my body slowly, slowly started changing. I was getting a bum, my quad was more defined, I was getting hamstring, yeah, so my muscle was slowly growing. And then after that, I was just going like a, a general gym, but then Sam introduced me to like an old school bodybuilding gym. I'm, I went there for the first time, and the, the girls who were there are like, amazing they've got like the best backs in the world and i was like oh, i'm gonna look like them like i was toned now and i had definition but i wanted to look like amazing like someone could be like wow me naturally i've got a running athletic physique i'm tall i can't change that so the way i grow muscle to someone who's small their muscle will look better on their body where i'm tall so it doesn't look as defined and as big so i've got to learn that i'm never gonna be like the way i want to be but you know i'm still trying to improve who i am now to what i was at the beginning is completely different like i'm so confident in the gym now like i go on my own all the time i know every piece of equipment i know about form i know about technique i know about everything and i know how to challenge my body and what areas of the body to exercise each day and the confidence in me as a person has gone like it's massive now so from where i was to this shy underweight girl who didn't have a clue about equipment to where i am now i'm like dead proud of myself and i'm just striving every day to better myself like i've still got a long way to go i'm still not like completely happy with my body like everyone's got things to hate about themselves so i'm still striving for better i'm better muscle growth and a better physique but i think 2021 hon is my year got a lot of exciting things in 2021 that about fitness so 
stay tuned for that yeah but i want to say thank you if you got all the way to the end of my fitness journey i hope it's inspired you um if you haven't been in the gym um to just go out and don't care what people think it's your life it's your body and if you want to bet yourself then do it hon like, please subscribe and like this video comment below um if you did like it and thank you for watching guys love you bye